Okay, so let's first of all select, uh, say, the freehand draw tool. And we get this kind of, so if I right click, I can draw into my level and I can just do a control Z to undo that. Um, I think the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna come up to the palette and it's empty. So if I do a right click, uh, we can add a new category, which is gonna be tree. So confirm. And here I'm going to uh, add a new block by, you know, if I right click on that and then click add new block and I'm gonna look for oak. Uh, for this, we're going to use dark oak, I think. So we'll select that one. So that's now in my palette. Uh, and now I'm going to come back up and add, say, the oak leaves, like so. Now, if I click on that, if I right click, I now get oak blocks. Undo that. Now, I think if I press Control and click with the middle mouse button and then drag, I can change the size of my brush. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop this down to not quite the smallest size, but one before that. And again, now I should be able to just draw uh, like that, a nice sort of more precise line. I'm gonna undo that. And I'm gonna use this to build my trunk. So I'm gonna right click and then maybe right click on top of it. Uh, in fact, what I'm gonna do right now is if I press control, just scroll in so I'm a bit closer and I can also left click to orbit around my trunk maybe I'll come out a little bit further I'm just going to build my uh, trunk up a bit like this I'm not going to be too fussy for this video uh, you can see I can just build up some kind of trunk like this just build it up and then maybe it'd be cool if it branched off in some way so maybe if I kind of come into the middle portion of the trunk there and build it up a little bit like that uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna extend these a little bit vertically so they can build leaves on top of them so something like this so I've got a nice uh, fairly interesting trunk maybe I could sort of give the impression there's some roots down here coming out at the base of the tree it's sort of leaning over this way so maybe it's got more roots over here sort of balance it out a little bit something like that uh, so now you're going to change over to the leaves in my palette and maybe i'm going to just increase the size of my brush so again it's like a, uh, a left control middle mouse click and then drag uh, and now if i just click on top of these uh, like that right click i get a i get a, a nice amount of leaves on my tree so I can come over and right click there and again if I just if I just use left control and left mouse button to orbit around I can see that perhaps maybe maybe I want some more leaves in here uh, and if I decide it, that's not quite right I can just do an undo control Z undo uh, maybe uh, maybe at this point I could ch change the size of my leaves and maybe make it a bit smaller like that. So some variety in the size. Maybe something like that. Maybe put another one in there. Maybe come up here, put one in there. Maybe I could try a much larger size. I could do something like this. At the top, make the tree a lot taller like that. I think I'm going to make that a bit smaller again though. And we'll just quickly add some more volume to this tree canopy. Um, there you go, like that. And at this point, just orbiting around the tree to sort of see, we could sort of, how, how filled out it is. Maybe I want to fill it out a bit more like that. Maybe a bit at the top, make it sort of vaguely round, maybe not too round. And that kind of kind of looks okay. Um, now we could uh, use a couple of brushes here, like there's the distort brush. Again, I'm gonna maybe increase the size of that. If the distort brush is gonna help to sort of disrupt the surface of that tree a little bit like that. So you, it looks a little bit more random. 
which is quite a nice effect. Again, I'm just right clicking on the tree. And also there is the roughen brush, which does a similar sort of thing, just makes the tree look a little bit more random. You can see that there. That's kind of cool. Now let's uh, let's make a let's start copying the tree around. Uh, so here I'm going to use the box select, uh, and we'll uh, we'll right click and then just drag a little bit. And if I left click there, we'll right click. Now I can select the corners of this box in order to sort of expand the selection like that. So I just want to expand my selection out so that I can uh, capture the whole tree. So get the whole tree like that. Make sure I'm not clipping into the floor. Click on that corner, drag out my selection. So it looks like I've got the whole tree. Right. Yeah, maybe not nine. Need to move this side over a little bit just to get the side of that tree like that. Oops, yeah, I just scrolled there and moved the uh, the selection. So if I scroll it back down, or we could just uh, drag the selection back down like that. There we go. Now I can simply do a control C to copy it. And now that tree is on my clipboard. And I can now, where I put my cursor, I can do a, a control V paste and I can press enter and it'll confirm that I can do it again. So I can now copy and paste that tree around. Um, let's do another one. And before we confirm it, we can, we can use the scroll wheel um, to shift it around. We can move it up or down like that. Uh, we can obviously grab these little icons here and move it in a constraint to a plane. So if we move it, move it up and down, get it back on the floor like that. And if you've got the latest version of Axiom, uh, you can use uh, this uh, unlock rotation so you can uh, rotate the object uh, at angles less than 90 degrees so I can just put a little bit of rotation like that and it'll it almost like uh, you get a slightly different tree like that and also what's kind of nice to be able to do in this mode is you could actually put a bit of a lean on the tree like that so it's leaning over slightly and then maybe we can uh, sink it into the ground like that. Just like the trees leaning over very slightly. And, and there we go, just press enter, confirm our tree. And then obviously if you wanna make a more of a forest, you can do a selection in a very similar way where you select a whole bunch of trees and just copy and paste them. Or at this point um, you could if we make a selection of our tree. Um, uh, so if I drag out my selection again, uh, so we just do this quickly. So we've got the whole thing. Come down to that corner. What we could do at this point, is so once we've got our whole tree selected, uh, we could go up to file and we could export this as a schematic. So call this uh, tree zero one and then save it. And then it will save into my schematics folder.